Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. Welcome back to the Godzilla Garage, where I exclusively talk about Godzilla and Godzilla related content, and a bunch of big news dropped today. Earlier today, I made a video regarding the fate of Shin Godzilla 2, and I dropped that link down below. But another piece of news regarding Godzilla is Toho's new Godzilla universe. So, after 2020, Toho decided that they were going to start doing Godzilla movies again. And they said that they're going to actually make another shared universe of Godzilla movies along with additional kaijus getting their own movies. Now, this might sound like something groundbreaking, but really kind of is it because this is how the kaiju genre actually got started back in 1954 when Gogeta came out and afterwards Toho decided to introduce different kaiju in their own movies and then later on they brought them together hence the Showa era and this is what this mostly sounds like that's good news because well in my opinion that's good news because I really like the fact that a lot of the kaiju actually got their own movies before joining into the Godzilla franchise. Having a continuous continuity made things a lot easier, made me more invested, and they did it first so they actually have a better idea of how to do so. And one of the reasons why I don't like the Millennium Era so much is because the frequent reboots. Good God. So this is good news and I'm glad for this, but there are a few additions that I would like to add on. Now, if Toho's doing this, number one, a couple of kaiju need their own movies. First and foremost, they need to do another Rodan movie, okay? Rodan is one of those kaijus from the Showa era that was very popular and utilized extremely well, but outside of the Showa era, every rendition of Rodan that I've seen in film has not been that good. I also really want to see them put the fear and the monstrosity back in a few of the kaiju. For example, King Ghidra, or King Ghidorah, however you want to pronounce him. King Ghidra is Godzilla's biggest and most dangerous nemesis, but we don't really get to see that in some of the later renditions. While as much as I like Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, he didn't come off as that monstrous, evil, world-destroying beast that he was introduced in the Showa era. So King Ghidorah needs to have his own movies and they need to bring back the monstrosity, the power, and the fear of King Ghidorah. I also feel that Gigan should get his own movie. Of all of Godzilla's enemies, Gigan is both the coolest design but the worst utilized. It's cool to see him in movies but every rendition of his movies it's Ah, they made him too much of a joke, and he's real badass and menacing looking, so they should put the danger and the threat back into him. And someone that I hope that I could get to fairly soon, but Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla was awesome, but his movie sucked. They had to give him his own movie. Those are just some of the kaiju that I feel need their own movies. Oh, one addition. I want to see Bakken, all right? For those that don't know, Bakken was a kaiju that Toho wanted to release from the 80s and the 90s, and they never made a movie of him, and I've only seen him in Super Godzilla the video game, but goddamn, Bakken was freaking awesome, and I want to see Bakken. You know what, it'll also kind of be cool, speaking about Super Godzilla, it'd be kind of cool to see a rendition of a Super Godzilla. That would be awesome. Ooh. Another thing that I hope Toho does is have continuity as they did during the Heisei era. You know, the Heisei era, the continuity was great. We had one character, mainly Mickey, who we followed throughout, but a couple of other characters came back in and out of the Heisei era. I hope we actually get a group of characters that we actually continually follow throughout this planned universe because that will be great and to top it off that's one of the best things about the Heisei era. Now I threw shade earlier in this video regarding the Millennium Era but I gotta say something about the Millennium Era. They did characters 
excellent. So if Toho finds that sweet spot, you know, having the continuity and the creativity as well as the close monster battles of the Showa era, the continuity yet the cool, you know, distance battles and reoccurring characters of the Heisei era, but giving more depth and likability of the characters in the Millennium era, you'll end up getting the best era of Godzilla movies ever. But that's just my take. What's yours about this new proposed Godzilla universe by Toho? Please drop me a comment below, give me a like, follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter at Token Dave 80, subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. I'll catch all of you later.